Hi everybody, this is the Math 20-1, Radicals and Absolute Values Review. This is question 34C. Okay, I gotta solve this equation. First thing I'm gonna do here though is isolate the radical. Okay, so take that negative 2x over to the other side. And now I'll square both sides and I'll get 19x plus 6 is equal to, when I square that binomial here, that'll be 4x squared, okay, plus 6x plus 6x, so 12x plus 9, okay, because remember this is a binomial and it has to be distributed out or foiled out. Then I'll bring the 19 plus, uh, 19x plus 6 over, because this is a quadratic, so I want this equal to, okay, I want this equal to uh, 0. So 12x minus 19x, negative 7x, subtract the 6, plus 3. And now I would factor that. Now I'm guessing right now that 4 would break down into 2 and 3. And actually that won't work, because I can tell right now, because uh, if I throw 3 down here, 3 can only be 3 and 1. And granted, I, I will get a, a 6 here, but then I would get a 2 here. There's, there's no way that I can get that negative 7 to pop up. So I try something different. Let's try 4x and x. And then this has probably got to be the 3 here because I'll make this 4x times negative 1, negative 3 times x. So yeah, there's my negative 4, negative 3. Good. Put together negative 7. And so now this gives me roots of 3 quarters and positive 1. Now I've got to check those. Okay? I've got to check those. So now this one right here, probably should go to my calculator and when I plug in three quarters into that, okay, that's the square root of 19 times three quarters plus six uh, minus two times uh, three quarters. Now if that works that should be equal to three on my calculator and it does. So three quarters works. And if I plug one into that, that's going to be, well 19 plus six is 25. Square root of 25 is five. Minus two times one is, is uh, three there. So that does work. So both of those results there work for this particular question.